My name is Chris, and today I'm going to share the five layers of human with you. Five layers you're made up of, I'm made up of, metaphysically we all made up of. With awareness of the five layers, one can begin to understand how the environment creates our breath, how discernment and conscious choice leads to the thoughts that form our reality. So our first layer, our outermost layer, is our physical body. The physical body is the layer of energy that gets activated when we do things like exercise, physical. is made from the layer beneath that, the fourth layer, which is the breath body. The breath creates the physical body. So when we begin to tap into practices like breath work, this goes past the physical body, touching into our breath body. Deep breath. What is after the breath body? What creates our breath? Well, our environment breathes us, yes. What is the conscious decision making that leads to our environment that breathes us? Subtle energy channels. The subtle wings of the body, yes. So underneath the breath body, is the subtle energy channels. You can think of these like winds. For example, the apana wind is outward, on and out. So our apana body, we detoxify that system. Things like grounding down to the earth to um, balance and keep homeostasis within the body. Our all pervasive wind of the body is the outermost sheath. The all pervasive wind, kind of like an adaptogen, like mushrooms are very popular in society right now. Mushrooms are adaptogens. And the all pervasive wind says, say my shoulder hurts. All pervasive wind says, oh, I'm going to guide all my healing energy to that source. Things like Reiki come in. There's not necessarily mental control of the all-pervasive one. He kind of has his own intelligence. But anyways, we're getting off topic. So breath creates the physical body, the subtle energy channels, the winds, subtle body. The subtle energies create the breath, create the physical body. Yoga asanas, postures are very intentional actually prescribe to clear these subtle energy channels. So no, yoga is not just about getting in those, um, whatever the physical part. With the postures, we can actually tap into the subtle energy bodies, thus affecting the breath, thus affecting the physical body and the environment. I bet you're wondering what the next layer of the human is. intellect body. What creates the subtle winds of the body? The perception we have of the world. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. I get so excited about this. Anyways, the perception that we have of the world creates our subtle energy channels. What does this mean? The thoughts that our parents tell themselves, that we tell ourselves, this goes all the way through the ancestral lineage, genetics, genome. We won't get into all that today. The perception you have of the world in a nutshell creates the subtle winds of your body. So going back to the Apana Bayou, grounding down, detoxification, to keep homeostasis within. How we go about doing that? Some people choose to, I'll, I'll use me as an example. I used to choose alcohol to escape, let go of what I had accumulated until I learned practice 
of yoga. I really started to understand, hey, I can release this thing that I've been holding on to, maybe in a more healthy way. So this is the intellect. In feeds the next layer, which is the final layer, the center of a human. What is the center? This all love, baby. That is your truth. That is unconditional love. That is that love that you're born into the world with, where you don't need anything to make you feel any type of way. You just are. There is no up, there is no down. There just is love, compassion, equanimity, and joy. This is the bliss body, the ananda body. How does this relate to you in your yoga practice? Foundational heart-centered yoga for vitality. Understand how you digest the world. How your physical body became the breath body from the subtle body from the intellect body. You can tap into that love whenever, whenever is needed. The heart. You don't need anything external to make you happy. You're just happy because you're alive. Um, we can all come from a place of just being celebrating each other for being alive. We made it. I think that's a brighter future for the next generation. I'm not saying anything about the next generation. I have a lot of respect for the next generation. So if you're in the next generation, or any of all the other generations, there's like seven generations alive at this time in history. It's just, wow. Gen Y, are you for your hope and your mindset? A fresh set of eyes. I don't know where I'm going with this. I just appreciate you. Keep coming back. All the generations. I'm the elder millennial myself. Each generation has these layers too. Bonus track. Each generation also exhibits a physical nature, a breath pattern, subtle energy channels, a common intellect perception of the world, elder millennium, love in sync, and Eminem, destiny's child, and just, oh, sorry, that was a microphone I just touched. Anyways, by understanding each other, you, you can better understand others. When we understand others, we can live in homeostasis, coexist in peace. Foundational heart-centered yoga for vitality. My name's Chris. Thank you for sticking around, learning about the five layers of human. If you found value in this video, please subscribe to the channel, tap like, and keep coming back. I'm super excited about the yoga studio launching in October. There are 16 classes a month, as well as four women's womb circles. Special guests soon to be announced. Please check out the website, yogawchris.com, YWC Studio. And that's my time. You've been great. Namaste.